newest hit from Marvin Gaye, I Heard It Through the Grapevine. It spent seven weeks at the number one spot on Billboard Top Music Charts in early 1969, wrapping up a successful decade of hits for Marvin Gaye. He was indeed one of the most outstanding artists to emerge in the 1960s. But let's start at the beginning of the story. He was born in Washington, D.C. on April 2, 1939. His father was a preacher, and his mother was a domestic worker. Marvin Gaye had a pretty difficult life. He had a successful but erratic career, and it was punctured with pain and hurt from his personal life. Marvin Gaye was known for his voice, and he started to develop that legendary voice at a very young age. He was only three when he started to sing in a church choir. At that time, most of us are still waddling around, but he was already singing. Later on, he learned how to play the piano and the drums, and by the time he was in high school, he was already performing in school plays and in the orchestra. After high school, Marvin Gaye started his singing career, and he tried out for the Moon Globes. Henry Fukua, the founder of the band, was impressed. He took him into the band and eventually introduced him to Barry Gordy. Now, it was Barry Gordy who gave Marvin Gaye his first big break. They met by chance at a party in Detroit, and Barry liked his voice so much that he told him to come into the studio for an audition. It led to the music of the United States and John Hitz on American Pictures. Now, here are two of Marvin Gaye's early hits at Motown Records, starting with the first song that he released. Anyway. that made it to the top 10 on pop charts. Here is Pride and Joy by Marvin Gaye. 